Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Collapse, a post apocalyptic uh, roguelite game. As you can see here, the world is a mess. There's a glowing blue lady on the left there, and uh, there are many, many, many enemies to kill. And that's mostly what you're doing just running around, murdering thousands of enemies. Uh, but yeah, I've sort of beaten the first uh, memory fragment of this game. So this, the way this kind of works is it has these randomly or sort of randomly generated areas. It's these uh, similar like uh, sections of the map that are kind of attached to each other, uh, how it's been done before. Uh, but as you can see here, I've gotten through the Lost Memory Log 1, and now I'm at number 2. And it looks like uh, there are maybe 9, if I'm giving a rough guess there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, there's 10. I was close, right? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there's 10 of them. There we go. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, it, the thing is, though, everything you've seen here is repeated here. And from what I've gathered of the game, it's just going to be the exact same thing for the next uh, not eight or nine runs. Uh, same enemies. Uh, they only, uh, from what I've seen playing through the second memory here, the only thing that changes is they get more health. And that's about it. And they hit harder. Uh, but as you can see, I'm in this sort of a in-between place where I can store loot. There is lots of loot. The biggest issue with the loot is it feels like it makes almost next to no difference outside of its main sort of stat. Like this adds electricity to my, uh, uh weapon. This adds, uh, this gives me two projectiles and this lets my, uh, uh, items, uh, my projectiles home in, uh, same here, fire, electricity. Uh, this gives me more armor, stuff like that. And it feels like, it doesn't matter, really? Almost the same with this giant skill tree. Like, the main stuff here, it's like, uh, this one right here will give me a, a larger clip capacity, but by 0.3, and that's about it. Like, all the stat changes are so minute that they don't matter. Uh, and these don't stack. If you look in the upper left, I actually can pick from these. Uh, and then some of these will cause new items to drop in the, uh, the areas and stuff like that. But, like, here... Let's see. So my flask capacity goes up by 15. That's my essentially my Estes flask. 15 is not that much. Even if I upgrade it, it it's probably not going to be that much. Like over here, point like plus three to fire resistance. It feels like it doesn't matter. And it was a second thought. It was just kind of put in there because we needed a skill tree. Uh, let's go ahead to memory log two here. Uh, but there are four characters. Uh, they each have a melee weapon and a uh, gun. My guy here is the one that I kind of used at the beginning. He has a uh, scythe, and he has a machine gun here. Uh, when I melee enemies, I get uh, ammo back, which is fun. I also have this fun dash. Just murder dudes. But, uh, yeah. Oopsie. Don't fall on that. But, yeah, this is literally it. You're running around, essentially holding down the right trigger, and then everything dies. What do we got here? Eh, we don't need it, but whatever. Maybe I can craft into a slightly better... Uh, multi-shot. So the goal of each level is to find a portal, activate the portal, kill the enemy waves that spawn, and then uh, move on. We're going to quickly heal. I'm going to let you survive so I can kind of heal up here. I have usable items. I'm going to throw the scythe out. Also have this fun one that if someone's using a projectile, it actually can reflect it back at them. And we're done here. And we get goodies. And it shall just... We grab all that. There we go. And I uh, keep moving. Uh, the story is sort of told via logs, which are random. And I've gotten the same log like twice in a row before. So I didn't really get any more story. But yeah, it sounds like the robots went uh, went crazy. And then society kind of went downhill from there. I said it was a rogue light earlier. You don't lose any of your uh, levels. You don't lose any of your items. And uh, where are they? See the bottom right there? Those items you use to upgrade. You don't lose those either. The only thing you lose is progress. So it's not really that punishing. Just very kind of grindy and repetitive. Very, very repetitive. I really wish that the loot was a bit more diverse. Like it actually mattered or feels like it mattered. Stacking electricity on that dude. Oh, there's the portal. I could keep going. There's no real reason to. Uh, the first thing had 
an area, a boss, an area, a boss, an area, a boss, and then the final boss, which was incredibly easy to beat. Uh, the tooltips say uh, each run, though, uh, like each time I complete it, oops. Uh, each time I complete it, it'll actually uh, make the bosses more difficult. So here's hoping. There you go. Uh, whatever. Micro stun. I don't know if I've ever been micro stun, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, that. Uh, it's also not that difficult because have you seen how much health they've been giving me? Like those green things are the uh, the regeneration thing. There we go. We'll use that and then send off my little thing. There's some ammo. But yeah, like melee is useless as long as you have bullets. And then you get more bullets from the melee. But chances are you don't because they just give you even more ammo anyways. And that portal's done. Can get this here. Open that up. And then that's it's. this is essentially the entire gameplay throw, uh, uh, flow. I did stun that guy. Come on, we need some need some more ammo over here. Come on. There we go. Oop. What are you doing over there? They got you. Uh, the bosses will give those fun little trinkets. Hold on. These right here, but. I don't think you're going to actually get a new weapon at all. Let's see. What do we have? Mint damage, electrical resistance. It's just... Like, the stats change so little that, yes, maybe after a while they make a difference, but uh, you're not getting it. You're not going to get an item that's going to change everything unless it's like, like the twin shot or something like that. Even then... Uh, like the biggest thing about that is, uh, it only uses, still only uses one bullet. So that is a, I guess, sort of a game changer. But then you just get a billion more of those, and you're like, eh. there are places where you can, uh, like, craft new items and hope to get better items. I want to point out that robot just jumped off the edge. Oh, look, more ammo. Uh, what is nice is that skill tree does seem to transfer between characters. I've gotten this one. That's uh, I've gotten that one twice now. But I've literally gotten that same message, like one of those messages, twice in a row. You like so the way this these layouts sort of work is I've seen this room before, and they're kind of like stitched together. If I didn't make that like clear earlier. Uh, they did mention something about the little tiny, like, balls under the enemy's health. I didn't really understand it. It's something, maybe it almost sounded like you can stun enemies, but only with a specific character that makes it easier. I don't know. Oh, hello. Uh, the bosses are fine. It's like, nothing crazy to write home about. You know, we'll just kind of, we did it. And then we get more stuff, and then we keep going. You know what, we're going to go ahead and... Come on. Come on. There we go. And then you're just taking right back to here. Like, if the gear and skills, like, if that, 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 uh, skill map seems big for the sake of being big. Like... It doesn't feel like those are like super substantial upgrades, like I said before. All right, so what do we want to get? Let's go ahead and unlock. No, I can't even unlock that because I don't have enough. Like, it's not the biggest, but it feels like so many of these should have been like rolled into one. Like, hold on right here. Go up here. So this one gives me elemental resistance to different things. But then this is, these are specific ones. But like this one's plus three, and this one's times point one. So is that one? It does. It it's I don't know. 
Like longer dash. Sure, why not? We'll get that too. Why not? Heavy casings. Why not? I've already found items that I really like. It says a duplex bullet. It's just that, again, like, point two to melee damage. That, it doesn't, that, no, like, maybe if you showed me the actual upgrade, or, like, like maybe you're going from, like, 13 damage to, like, 15 damage. Maybe that would make it easier, but still, that's not a big upgrade. Melee attack speed plus 30. Uh, from what I've seen, a melee build is not good. But anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, for those curious, maybe it took me about two, maybe one, two, or like two or two and a half hours to get through the first area. And, and honestly, I don't think I want to, if it's exactly the same as it looks has looked, because what you just saw here in the second area is exactly the same that happened in the first area. Uh, there's a plant area, there's a sort of a greenhouse area, there's a smelting area, and it's just, if it's going to be exactly the same, I don't want to do that nine more times. Thank you, everyone. Bye.